लोड बैलेंसिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लोड बैलेंसिंग इज सच दैट एंड इट इज पॉसिबल टू सिलेक्ट अ सुटेबल केबल प्रोफाइल इन अ प्रिस्ट्रेस्ड कॉन्क्रीट मेंबर सच दैट ट्रांसवर्स कंपोनेंट ऑफ केबल फोर्सेस बैलेंसेस द गिवन टाइप ऑफ एक्सटर्नल लोड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम ऑफ स्पैन एल supports a concentrated load of capital W kilonewton we know that the bending moment for this for such case bending moment will be WL by 4 right so the concept of load balancing is that we can counteract this uh, uh, concentrated load by providing a suitable cable profile so how to decide uh, which cable profile uh, would be uh, would serve a great uh, balancing the load so it is just simple just provide a cable profile exactly uh, flip bending moment diagram so here here you can see that bending moment diagram is like this so providing a cable profile exactly a vertical flip of this diagram that if this is a member supported like this and supporting capital w kilo newton so and this is a neutral axis if it is a cgc line so it is advisable to provide cable profile like this this is called as a bent tendon okay so what will happen in such arrangement consider a fbd of this uh, beam considering fbd what we get we get if here p kilo newton of prestressing force is applied okay if we uh, consider a fbd of this beam and resolve this prestressing force of course which will make an angle very small angle theta so if i resolve this prestressing force i will get this component as a p cos theta and a vertical component as a p sin theta and similar over here p sin theta and horizontal component p cos theta so at this point where the uh, cable is bent uh, and these uh, this tendon is pulled from two sides so it is uh, obvious that the there will be an internal reaction at this point this is the prestressing reaction if i take a vertical uh, equilibrium that is summation of all vertical forces equals to 0 i found that this vertical reaction will become addition of this force and this force and that is it will be a 2p of sin theta okay so vertical load will be of 2p sin theta and for a such a small value of theta this p cos theta is taken as straight p okay once we got the value once you put the theta over here and uh, we got the value of this reaction and this reaction is going to counterbalance the external load w so net downward load will be capital w minus 2p sin theta which will be noted by w net since this will be the w net therefore moment at uh, mid span will be capital m is equals to w net into l by 
so the resultant stresses now we will talk about the stresses resultant stresses that is ft will be p by a and due to the moment of course at top there will be a compressive stresses so it will be this m net let this be m net m net by z t and bottom most stresses will be similarly p by a minus m net by z b okay now when beam is uh, supporting a uniformly distributed load throughout its span say the span is of l meter <coughs> then it is advisable to provide a, a parabolic cable profile why because the bending moment diagram for this will be a parabolic so bending moment diagram will be parabolic and having a maximum uh, bending moment value as a wl square by 8 at the mid span so it is advisable to provide a tendon parabolic as shown now the question is <coughs> of course uh, to counteract the uniformly distributed load uh, due to the dead load and the live load tendon wind also generate a reaction uh, which will be a uh, in terms of uniformly distributed load let the reaction generated by tendon be wc so let it be wp the reaction generated due to the pre-stressing tendon okay uh, equation for the profile for a parabolic tendon so equation for this profile so consider y axis downward and x axis like this okay and origin at the leftmost tendon so y is a function of x here y will be different here y will be different so the equation for this uh, or equation of this parabolic profile is given like y equals to 4h into x upon l square into l minus x this will give us a y at a distance x where h is total uh, height you can say uh, this this is the first point of a tendon and this is the mid depth so this is h okay this is h and x x is the desired distance from the leftmost support so from here we will be able to find the depth of the tendon now next this wp how much the reaction will be generated due to the parabolic profile having the depth h at the center with respect to its end so it's very simple if we are taking a moment equilibrium we will find that moment at any section if moment at any section is uh, what you can say m if m is the moment at any section which must be equal to p into h now what is this p into h if consider this cross section so if this is the cross section where we are considering so p cos theta is taken as p for a small value of theta and this will be the h or you can say eccentricity or a h at an instant x from left support correct so the moment will be p into h which should be equal to the external moment at the same cross section but this in turns is equals to w l square by 8 right and if i equate these two terms 
for the uh, equilibrium if i want exact reaction from the cable profile equal to the external load i need to equate these two term so from equating by equating these two term that is the p into h is equals to w l square by 8 what we are getting this w and let this w be wp that is the reaction from pre-stressing tendon it will become 8 hp upon l square this is the reaction from pre-stressing tendon 8 hp by l square okay this will counteract this wd plus l now if we uh, turn towards the analysis analysis of the cross section to find the stresses after getting this reaction we need to find w net which will be equals to this w due to dead load plus lag load minus reaction from the pre-stressing tendon this much will be the w net kilonewton per meter of course, we will be able to find the moment at the desired section Mx, which will be equal to W net L square by 8C at mid, at mid span. Okay. So once we get this Mx, we know this, we know the Z, that is the modulus of section of uh, cross section. So resultant stresses would be, that is Ft, topmost resultant stresses will be of course a direct stress that is p by a and due to the external moment at top it will be positive that is a compressive in nature so this will be m net by z t and similarly f b will be p by a minus m net by z b these two equation will give us a resultant stresses if now this is the case if the beam is simply supported supporting a two uh, concentrated load that is of w kilo newton w kilo newton at a equidistance from the supports let us say a so the if we generate bmd for it bmd will be like this having magnitude of w a so the advisable profile of a tendon for such case is trapezoidal if this is neutral axis provide a bend exactly under the concentrated load so provide a tendon like this these are the pre-stressing tendon and again How much will be the reaction generated by this tendons if it is provided at an eccentricity E? So again, considering the moment equilibrium, if M is the bending moment due to the external load over any cross section, it must be equal to this pre-stressing force generated over, which will be the P cos theta, but for a small theta, it is taken as P. So it will be equal to P into E, but M m over here will be uh, w into a now if we need to uh, counterbalance these external point load uh, or we uh, or in other word we can say if we need to uh, entirely counterbalance these external load then this should be equal so from these two terms if i am saying that this is the wp that is the reaction over here due to the pre-stressing tendon so i can write here wp will be equals to p into e by a this much kilonewton of reaction will be given uh, 